Podcast, episode number 163, a weekly podcast created by gamers and streamers alike to discuss the latest gaming topics from the previous week. We stream a new episode on Fridays and release it on podcast services like Apple, Google Podcasts, Stitcher Radio, and Podbean, and so much more. So show us some love and do us a favor and give us a like on Facebook, a subscribe on our YouTube channel, or follow on Twitch uh, or any podcast services out there. Or... Oh, wow, that's getting even longer. Go to our main website, confreaksandgeeks.com, to not miss an episode. I am Mr. CFG Games himself, Davis Green, and with me today, I am with my co-host. We're missing Lex for the day, but we are talking to the person that admits that Hella is way too OP. I'm talking to the five-star general of the itty, bitty, smitty committee. I got Smitty in the third seat. What's going on? Dude, what's going on with you today? Oh, just chilling, my friend. Thank you so much for the lovely introduction. Uh, yeah, it's been it's been a decent week. It hasn't been too bad. I was pretty productive. Again, I've been I've been staying on this sleep schedule, and I feel like it's really been helping me uh, at least like have more productive days and not just feel tired all the time. So that's been nice. Um, otherwise, you know, got some Marvel Snap in again. Thank you. So much for for those that came through last night and got some battles in with me. I just want to let it be known that Davis and I are currently one and one. We're not um, one and one. We're two and one. What? Two and two. We're, we're two we and did two. Win. We're two. Okay, two and two. Sorry. Yeah. We're Sorry. Two two. Okay. Yes. Okay. So we did some. We did some battling. Sugar Cube. Sugar Cube whooped whooped me up and down. Sugar Cube Cube whooped me up and down. Um, mm-hmm. and then we played uh, Darth Aiden as well, and then some some folks that were watching uh, over on YouTube uh, hopped in too. So all around good time. I love that game. Uh, again, I stand by what I said, and uh, <laughs> it is Whatever. solid, and they're making it even even more better. So uh, Did yeah, all in the, all, um, it's good stuff. I'm not done yet. I'm not no, done yet. You should be. also. I <laughs> no no never. Also, uh, I'm going to, I'll be next Friday, I'm going to be, so I will not be on the show next Friday. I'm actually just thinking about this because I'll be doing, oh, well, that's not true. I got to double check to see what time, uh, the times I'm doing, but I'm going to be emceeing down at the Level Up convention uh, this Friday, uh, Friday and Sunday. So I'm really excited about that. And the fact, you know, it's again, an honor to be able to go and link up with some of these panels we got folks like uh, uh folks from apex legends we're going to be doing folks or doing a panel with uh demon slayer uh my hero academia at, at, so it's going to be a good time i say at, at, but uh it's going to be <laughs> it's going to be a great time and then tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> there are two things going on out here. There's a Madden tournament happening, uh, the Ward Five. This is a second annual, which is great. You know, the um, uh, our friend Ed, Complete Gamer, uh, does a wonderful job with working and, and collaborating with other folks in the esports and getting these kids, uh, you know, that education and and esports and all that stuff. So that's going down. And then Las Vegas Inferno, of course, we're going to be over at uh, Houston Hot Chicken over here in Summerlin. They're going to be doing a Super Smash Brothers tournament uh, over there. We're going to be eating food. There's going to be giveaways. All kinds of stuff. So it's it's busy. It's gonna be like it it is busy. Yeah, it dude, starts you tonight. Are, you are loading I know. with a lot of stuff. That's insane. I know. I didn't even yeah. think it was that much. That is crazy. That's awesome though. But dang, yeah. You're so busy. No, no, dude. It's you know, it's kinda especially when you get to the beginning of a year, I always try to try to hit it hard and then and then kinda slow up a little bit and, and relax. I'm I know that February is gonna be a, a busy month for me, so it is. It. I. I live and die by calendars. If I don't. If it's not on the calendar, then I probably. I'm not going to remember it or or whatever. Are we talking There's about like a, a physical calendar, or are we talking about like a Google calendar? No, 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 no. I'm talking point? about a Google calendar. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, good. digital calendar for so I can set alarms and warnings, and everybody can know. You know what I mean? Like Scorp Kitty, we have a family one, so that we have one that anything that I have, then I can put it on there, and then we know if one of us has something going on or whatever. So yeah, that's yeah, like Twiggy says, it sounds there's chaotic. There's so much. It does. Yeah. It, does it is chaotic. It, it is. doesn't sound. You should like see my. Like... You should see my room. The room only adds to that. Yeah, <laughs> the room's chaotic and like, I, I'm one of those people for sure. Like my physical space reflects, like my mental. Yes. You know what I mean? Like kind of how I how I feel mentally. 
I guess. Oh, 100, I hundred percent agree with that. I can easily, I can easily, it makes sense though too. Do you have, a, yeah, at least you have like, you know, a, do you have like a couch or anything like that inside that room? That, I don't. Like, I only, I would love to. There's not enough room to do that. Really? Not behind you? It seems like you have a good space. Good space behind there's you. There's a decent space, but there's also a closet uh-huh. back there. Oh, that's right. You're blocking it. Okay. Yeah, and I don't want to block the closet because I have stuff in there as well. That's where I like I keep yeah. a bunch of equipment and stuff like that. Yeah. You need, yeah. That would be that's crazy, dude. But, but oh, no, I have definitely awesome. <laughs> I have definitely done that. Snake Eye said or Smitty. So she says, uh, what happens if there's a great power outage or <laughs> and Snake Eye says or Smitty's foot hits the power switch. I have done that twice done now, that? I think, dude, and killed everything. <laughs> In the middle of a stream, dude. Like I, I forget because like the power switch is like facing me. It's not like on top of it. It's like level with my foot. So sometimes if I'm like moving my foot in the wrong place, like I'll kick it and I, I'll kick it off. It'll so, sound so dumb. So should I say it or you say it? Because at this point, it's classic you know. Smith. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> at this point. Uh, I don't I'll, like it. Anyway, what's going on with your life? What have you been doing, Davis? Oh man, I have been <laughs> I have been busy. You know what's funny? Like it sucks because like you, I I like as you know I bought a house and like uh, everything has been like uh, uh, last week the winter storm came and messed my furnace up, so I had no power, uh, no no uh, no heat when I needed it most again uh-huh. this year. Oof. So like I'm oh, going no. through the process of getting it fixed and stuff. So like I, so that really kind of dampened my time to to stream. And on top of that, I'm uh, like been really aggressive on wanting to make this podcast uh, the podcast grow. So like I have not had time to to stream at all this past two weeks. Uh, uh, these past two weeks. So hopefully I'll be back to normal next week uh, on this, and I'll be able to go do some stuff. But then the other problem is this: NASA's conventions are back in the mix of things. I'm going to conventions so we can do so I can do some coverage and stuff like that for our website, shameless plug, com. And, uh, and, uh, but like, so there's very little time for me to kind of go and do these kind of cool, uh, these kind of things. I love, I love the stream. I love to interact and stuff like that. But it's like, man, it is not in the cards when you're, when you are wearing many hats <laughs> for the website. Yeah. So, but, uh, but what's cool though is this though, I was introduced, uh, I was uh, invited to go to an event called Waifu Con in March. It's a brand new event that's in Dallas. That's a, I think it's a, I think it's an 18 plus event. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> for the most part, but it's weird. I went to the website and I'm like, oh, okay, these people are like probably OF, <laughs> of like OF people. Oh, uh, oh. but, but, What's weird is that they had uh like a a very strong and respectable set of voice actors that were going to this event too. So I was like, uh, so like Jonas Scott, uh, uh not Jonas Scott, um, the guy who played uh uh, uh the main dude from uh, B Stars is going to be there as well as uh, the main dude from from uh, Overlord and stuff going to be there too. So like I was just wanted to stop, I wanted to stop by and say hello to those uh, to those cats most of the time because like most of it I was also uh, I also interviewed some of them in our shameless plug Pop Culture Gems on all podcast services out there. <laughs> and uh <laughs> and uh we uh yeah so i mean i just wanted to go stop by and say hi and stuff like that you know so i was like oh it's a perfect opportunity let me just go stop by one day on saturday just go and do my thing and uh see what see where it's gonna go and uh so yeah so i'm looking forward to going to that event and uh uh, and still just, uh, you know, try to get back my streaming, my streaming schedule back on a uh, back of foot. I know I'm going to probably play something next week because Wild Hearts comes out next week. I oh, can't yeah. Wait. <laughs> yeah. What is that game about again? I can't even remember. It's a it's like a Monster Hunter, but EA. Made oh, it. yeah. I think uh, I think uh, Dust said something about it. Yeah. I'm looking forward to playing that. So uh, uh, that and uh, and uh, like a dragon, Ishin comes out next week too. So, so like, there's just a lot of crazy games. that's just been like February has just been pretty loaded, man. Like, I mean, just this, this week, like last week, I knew it was gonna happen. Dude. Harry Potter, yeah, it's really crazy. So um, mm-hmm. yeah, so no, it, we have a lot of stuff that we have a lot of stuff to, uh, uh, that that's coming within the next month or so. So uh, yeah, definitely looking forward to it. Hopefully, some more big stuff and things are gonna happen and. Uh, uh, and go from there, you know. So, so mm-hmm. anyways, yeah. But I will promise you, I will start playing games again. I just been just too busy to uh, uh, to go through that process again. So, 
Um, but I know most of y'all don't want to be uh, talking about Waifu Khan or my excuses <laughs> on why I haven't been playing any games. But let's go through the normal rigmarole that we like to do each and every week. So each of us chooses a topic or discussion from the previous week. Uh, the topic would or could be a game itself or something that happened in the gaming industry. And we don't want to talk about it amongst ourselves. We want you, the listeners and viewers, on Twitch.tv, on YouTube, and on Facebook Live to be a part of the conversation. So by all means, if there's something that you're wanting to add or what we are talking about, by all means, type it inside the chat we would love to discuss it with you uh with you all and uh and we will go from there so let's go with uh smitty here uh uh so, yeah we'll start you off with uh start you off smitty sorry to throw you under the bus oh like you're that. going with me first oh i figured yeah. that it was gonna be you i figured uh okay oh well, um, no no you're right you're right because you even changed i feel changed like that was bigger everything. yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you're right okay <laughs> to me. this guy this guy use the reverse uno card on me okay cool let's go with this <laughs> Yeah, no, right. Reverse. <laughs> snap. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, well, uh, okay, so as you know, um, there was a lot of cool stuff that uh, that was announced at the Nintendo Direct. Nintendo Direct happened, like, you know what, you know, the one thing I hate about Nintendo Directs is that you don't know what's coming, man. You just, like, it. it, it they be like... Oh, it's a perfect day. Then the, today they'll just they'll casually on Twitter say, "Hey, we're gonna have a Nintendo Direct on Wednesday, the next day at at uh, two p.m." I'm like, "What?" It's like, yeah. "What?" But but what? I have stuff to do. <laughs> it's like, oh, up to mm -hmm. us. We're gonna do. It's like we can't even be ready to cite to be hyped about like you know what are they going to be announcing? What are some of the things that they're going to be showing and things like that? But no, no, it's okay. But anyways, uh, so Nintendo Direct came, and I have to say they had a really really beefy. Uh, connect this. Uh, uh, like it was meaty. The meaty. It was a really meaty. Meaty direct. So, uh, <laughs> like it was, it was actually uh, like it was. Uh, uh, it was great. Uh, like I mean, dude, the silent announcement of like I think some of the some of the big highlights in, uh, of this direct was was really cool because I mean it was an hour long. It was distinctively an hour long. Everyone mm -hmm. was talking about. Uh, uh, the, a lot of cool small uh, uh, small things like some of the big announce the biggest announcements is was Pikmin Four that's coming on the uh, that's coming on the Switch, uh, Splatoon Three DLC uh, announcements and stuff and uh, uh, of course the new Tears of the Kingdom with the uh, Zelda so you know the great I don't personally care <laughs> about Zelda, about the Zelda one but the uh, uh, but I think some of the, but the thing I think that balanced it out was the ever so expanding library of what they're doing with the Nintendo switch. Like it makes you just not like when, um, if it's a switch thing or if it's just like specifically a console lock thing, it makes you not want to ever get rid of your switch because like mm -hmm. the network, like, I mean, dude, you have, you have emulators for NES, SNES, 64, uh, Sega Genesis, Game Boy, and now uh, and they're just adding Game Boy and GBA to it is freaking insanely awesome. And uh, and I have been like for the like it's been three years until they announced the you know the expansion pass. Now mm -hmm. it makes me I, I I've been just coattailing it. I have not bought the expansion pass for three years. This makes me want to buy the expansion pass now uh, uh, to get it. I mean, and that's not even the, the, like besides the fact that you get like, you know, the extra bonus stuff that you can get on Animal Crossing, the uh, the the bonus tracks on Mario Kart 8, which they are, which once again, they announced new characters in, in the new, A new character. Tracks. Finally, yeah. two new characters. Yes. Oh, two. Oh. I thought it was just one. It was a birdie. It was birdie. And oh, no, Birdo. no. Yoshi. Yeah, birdie. 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's what I remember. It's a birdie. <laughs> yeah. It's, he's a little like, it reminds me of Marvel Cap 2. <laughs> with, with Saber Dude. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, but I mean, like, yeah, so they have that and they have a list of characters that are coming, like, to the, uh, to the, to the, th uh, or, uh, uh, I mean, a list of tracks and a new character for a game that came out back in 2014 is insane to me. I mean, it, it, it kind of, it's kind of a love hate with that one for me because I really wish that they make a brand new Mario Kart because what this one, the ones that they've been doing is that these are just recycled and refurbished uh, tracks that or ha that happened in the past, you know? So I think that like with some of the things that, that, uh, that like to say that we'll see uh, like a Mario Kart nine, which 
would be would be great. Or you know what? If they want to do an expansion, brand new tracks, brand new characters and stuff at this point, by all means do it. <laughs> but I, I just really wish mm-hmm. they, they they added it uh added to, uh towards it. So uh yeah, but I mean like dude, and then plus like the library of uh like the, the beginning library of Game Boy games, but plus with the uh uh with the filters that allows you to play with super super Game Boy inside your game boy stuff and then gba which i cannot wait because i never played golden sun before but now i will definitely play golden sun sun now on my mm-hmm. switch oh oh my goodness dude it's just so many different possibilities so that's that was the main like the main aspects of the uh of the direct here but but besides that they had a ton of like smaller project games mostly uh the biggest thing that they definitely uh they most definitely had was like you know they had it <clears throat> ooh, excuse me uh they like were showing the dlc content that's that was going to be included for xenoblade uh xenoblade 3 they had they pr- introduced the roadmap of 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 fire emblem engage which was like you know showed the new characters and stuff unfortunately like that one's a paid dlc that there's the, uh, the, that you're gonna have to get uh, uh for it uh, but then uh, then you also had like the the stealth release of like Metroid Prime Remastered is freaking uh is freaking amazing. Like the the like I'm definitely gonna have to pick that up. I haven't picked it up yet. Uh, picked it up yet uh, on my side. There's just so many different things that, that 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 was meant for a lot of different kinds of people. Uh, like the Etrian Odyssey, uh, like Collector's Edition, Advance Wars One and Two is coming finally. Like it's it it's been delayed for a year because uh yeah. when it was originally supposed to come out was was the beginning of the of the of the Ukrainian war that that started. So they wanted to delay it to kind of you know get some steam off of that and, and stuff there's just so much man i can't even i can't even stop so like i have to say nintendo made you like excited like oh this is what's coming this is some of the stuff that's going to be that's good it's it's uh, like a little bit of everything for everyone that, that they're going to be uh that, that they're introducing for folks so i wanted to see like what uh, like is that what you got out of this too or like what did you what did you personally think smitty yeah, it was spicy, man. I can't even I can't even deny uh, just everything that they that they brought to the table. And uh, like you said, it was exciting. It was concise. We got a ton of I mean, they came in, dude, they did hot drops. They hot dropped uh, uh, Metro Prime remake, uh, which I, I did not have that on my bingo card at all. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was pretty cool. I think there was something else that they did as well. They, you know, they released demos like those, like, that's the one thing about Nintendo directs too. And I, I saw that, uh, uh, Xbox had did it with their developer direct, but like having like a hot drop or something like that really gets people pumped, invested in actually watching and being a part of, uh, you know, of these announcements of these directs and things like that. So, you know, I, I thought, Nintendo, they they do it so well uh, when they do it, and they really hit you with so many different things. You can't really just pinpoint like, oh, you know, other other than like Zelda. I knew they were going to talk about Zelda, but other than that, I was like, I have no idea what they're going to do. Like some, there are some things that I'm not really interested in, or I, I'm just like, eh, whatever. That's kind of whatever to me. But I know there is a base and there's an audience of people that are interested in in that stuff and enjoy that stuff. So. I thought that was a that was a pretty top notch um, direct by Nintendo, uh, and you know again excited about uh, the Mario Kart changes. And I get what you're saying as far as doing a nine. Uh, I think eventually they'll probably probably go into that. Hopefully, maybe um, I don't know either that or they're just gonna keep selling these packs. I mean, if they keep, I mean, the money wise, you know, it makes sense that they would just keep doing packs um i i totally agree you know what like i said i think that going getting packs for a game that pre-existing and then they know that they can get away because i mean you know it's funny uh i think uh it's already been uh, i think mario kart is one of the top sellers uh for the switch so there's no reason for them to like you know start from the ground up but if they do these expansion packs like what they did i think they announced this what last year or the year before uh, for the gonna, for the yeah. wave for the wave packs, I believe uh, every yeah. three months. Like I think that's a brilliant idea uh, for them to do it, and then they just implemented it. They implemented these packs part of the expansion pass, and if they want to, they they could get away with you know maybe just doing paid DLC 
for the right. future of it because I I mean I love playing Mario Kart. Mario Kart's really I don't know what it it's, is, but Mario Kart's always been consistently the best. I love it. I've loved it since I was a kid, dude. Yeah. I didn't we didn't realize it. We were streamers when we were kids because <laughs> we we what we would do is my brother and I would play it, and we were able to figure out how to record it uh, on via VCR. And we would like literally cast, like basically cast what we were doing and stuff like that in Mario Kart from the original uh, Mario Kart. So I have always had, I've always had a deep, uh, just love for the game in that series. And I'll always play. I play with my daughter now. She plays it. Uh, there's still a ton of the stuff that I need to do in this one. I just, I don't tend to play my Switch that often. What's big here though for me was the fact that. In my opinion, they really solidified that they are putting some serious work into their online platform. They've expanded it even more. They are giving people even more reasons. And, of course, they're playing heavily on on that nostalgia. But the Switch is a perfect device to be able to play games like that. Like, you know what I mean? At least for me, I'm more likely to play uh, like a retro game or something like that um on that than i would like on my pc but then of mm -hmm. course they've opened it up so you can play you know old school co-op or you can play it online and play against people which completely changes the whole dynamic now all these old games we could we legit thought that we were the best in you can actually test it out and be like oh no nah, i wasn't that good then never mind or maybe i was i just lost it i'm, I'm you know i'm much older now <laughs> that's how that's but, how it normally is though i'll be like you're usually the best you're the best kid on the block i'm playing your Mario in my Kart, head you, in yeah. my memories i was probably the dopest i'm just gonna throw that out there <laughs> Smith, they, they, yeah. it was a great direct they they did a fantastic yeah. job i think you know again and i've had you know we do the family plan we do mm -hmm. the family plan for um uh for nintendo so i've kind of been dipping into it a little bit and it definitely you know again it's another one that's starting to really surprise me i still think they need a lot of work on their online presence and infrastructure um that goes without saying but i love what they've been adding and and how they're going about stuff and moving forward especially with this uh this online technology so uh, yeah. good on them that was a really I, I thought that was a fantastic uh direct uh yeah i think like uh i think like uh they definitely fed on the nostalgia i think they fed they were able to balance people's like you know not necessarily their expectations of what they were going to be getting for the switch but rather their it it, it this direct clearly showed there's a little bit of something for everybody on the switch. It wasn't like, it wasn't, it wasn't like, okay, uh, specifically an RPG thing, uh, because they definitely had some RPGs. They definitely, they definitely fed in the nostalgia with the, like with Metroid, Metroid prime. Cause Metroid prime is mm -hmm. like, like a, is a big hit to a lot of people now my age to play, uh, that that's been playing those kind of games. Cause I mean, Hell, like I love, like I love Metroid. I never played Prime. That. Prime is lie. a great series. You should definitely pick that up. Actually, you should. You should probably should stream that sucker because that's like it. It's a. It's a first. Per Have you ever played any Metroids? Like I played Metroid and Super Metroid. Oh, you played okay. So Super Metroid, like so you already know. I mean, hence Metrovanias and stuff. But like, yeah. Uh, yeah. But this is a. But Prime is a first person. Uh, uh, right. first person shooter of it and in, in the but uh, for its time the way that they they switched from the style of metroidvania to that was so freaking great and and it was good and they had three of them uh uh, pr uh prime one two and three and then they just stopped mm -hmm. and, uh, it stopped after the third one so it's and just, that's what people are wanting now is from mm -hmm. this prime series well people wanted okay so they've been saying that because the, because they said that they were working on prime four for right. the Switch, an exclusive that's going to be for the Switch, uh, but but it seems like it's in a it's in a weird limbo state because they they announced that they uh, they had to start they scrapped their uh, they they scrapped it completely and they're going to start Ooh. building it again from the ground up. That was three I, years ago. That was from the three years ago. So like, uh, so no one knows what's going on. And like, uh, <laughs> that's that's the one thing that I that's the one caveat I have about it. It's like, dude, give us something about what's going on with this because I've been waiting for Prime Four for years, yeah. just as much as I was waiting for uh, 
uh, Bayonetta three. That's like when they when they announced Bayonetta three, it was literally took them three and a half years for them to to, to for it to be released. So hopefully yeah. they found their stride on what they're going to do with it. I don't care if it's going to be on the next gen console of Nintendo, but just 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 give us a Prime Four, dude. Like <laughs> that yeah. just yeah. I mean I, I I'm totally reserved on playing Prime One because one was one of my favorites too. So but yeah, but I think if you really want to love the Metroid series, Prime is a, is a, is definitely a great gateway to get into it. <clears throat> And it's only thirty bucks comparatively, so it's not like um, oh uh, the uh, oh that's pretty nice, yeah, yeah. So it's like yeah, so definitely, I would definitely always, I would definitely say hell yeah, go for it. Uh, yeah. But yeah, but no, but overall, like like this direct is w- was very meaty. Definitely loved everything that came out of it. There was not not really a dull thing about it. I mean, the only thing to me was like oh Zelda Tears of the Kingdom more. I mean, it, it, it kind of just it, you know in a way it's a little disappointing with Tears of the Kingdom for me. Uh, a little bit and it's not with me because i already know i hate zelda but it but i I think the thing i have on it is that it doesn't look very much different than the original than the first one and and we uh i think y'all waited i think it was we waited four years for a sequel a direct sequel (laughs) for the same uh uh zelda game and i'm just thinking like oh i thought it's going to look a little bit better since we're four years in we're like year five, year six inside the Switch's lifespan. You think that they would, mm-hmm. they're, they're going to fully optimize what the Switch is is at, but the, but no, it's the same. It's, it's the same, uh, the same kind of thing. And I'm like, uh, okay. well, what do you mean? What do you what would, what do you expect? Like for like a graphic, like okay. art style yeah. change? Or no, I'm looking for like, dude, the game looks exactly the same. Like like I mean like the the monsters that they that they were showing off and stuff like that just looks like, like if you didn't know any better if someone didn't tell you that this was a sequel to uh, Tears of the Kingdom and then you showed they, they mixed in the video of the original Zelda's uh Zelda to that would you know the difference like would you know the difference of what you're fi- uh, 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 what you're playing like usually with a ga- uh, with a, with a break that big or something you got would see a like a little bit of a difference of some sort but this just looks like a just a direct continuance of like like what i'm expecting when final fantasy uh the second chapter comes out when final fantasy 7 mm-hmm. comes out the, the next thing i'm looking for something more enhanced than what the original one looks like so there's a there's a i mean not like a, a huge difference but like something that'll be like okay here you go you know so <laughs> yeah so, but the switch has yeah. its own limitations in itself oh, it definitely though, does. Too. yeah you know what i mean so like Dude, I don't that, know, and again, I don't. I'm not going to pretend to know what the what goes into doing that or, yeah. or giving it that kind of polish. I get what you're saying, but I think too there we've only seen a, a limited view, that and and true. again, I think graphically, yes, you know what I mean. Like it, it is, it is basically the same of what it lo- what it looks like but i'm sure i you know again when you do something you have to add new mechanics new things and stuff mm-hmm. like that so i think that we just haven't been privy to seeing some of that stuff so it kind of feels like well this is basically the same thing but i think that's also kind of the purpose too is that this is uh, from I, I don't know 100% and I, you know, uh, cause I haven't even finished the first one. I'm so I'm close. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm on my way to claim it again. And, uh, now, but, uh, don't you <laughs> shake your head at me, but, oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, but uh, I think, you know, if it, it, you know, if it is maybe like a direct sequel from the last one, you know, maybe then it's intentional for them. So it's like a continuation of the story and you don't want to deviate or have, it not look like the first part of the story because then it doesn't feel like it's yes. part of the same story. Yeah, I feel, would be I, my I, guess. I and, guess. And, and I see your point, and it's fair, and it's fair, very fair, and and it's fair to say that I definitely agree. But here's the thing, though: like <laughs> Zelda was the first game that came out on the Switch. That was the number one when it, when the Switch came out. Zelda was the number was the game that was the introduction to uh to the Switch uh of it. So I'm just saying that you're telling me because like you remember you know like how like I don't know if you you definitely probably remember you remember like year one games it's like like you're kind of like okay it's a year one game so we'll give them an excuse because they don't there's they're still messing around with the system and stuff but this is a first party game in its first year to now we're five or six years in and it looks the same <laughs> uh, same uh, looks the same I was like are you telling me that y'all fully optimized the switch at the beginning of its life cycle to not and not be able to fully crack into its its full potential already well, that's why you gotta with, get the, the, with, with tears of the kingdom is what i'm saying that's why you gotta get the oled 
And then and oh, then I'm it'll not. make your eyes bleed. <laughs> I was not gonna get, get the oil leaky. There's absolutely no there's reason your upgrade, for me. For Davis. That. There's your upgrade, Davis. No, I'm just saying, there's your upgrade. Yeah. That is well. maybe it looks cleaner, but we are working on you know, we're playing on a limited system uh as well. So I yeah, there's I mean, nothing that, that the OLED version is going to be find off. a reason to hate on Zelda. That's all it is. What Tell are you the talking truth. about? I've never Tell liked the Zelda. The only Zelda, I know. The only Zelda and, that I liked <laughs> was a Link to the Past and the Link between and the Link between Worlds. All the Ocarina of Time. No, I didn't like Ocarina. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, I did not like Ocarina or or, or Majora's Mask or really I didn't the 3D, play that one. Yeah, the three D Zelda's. I played. You know what's funny? I played every single one still to this day. It's like I played Skyward Sword. I played. Uh, I played uh, Ocarina because I do, I do not believe in hating a game to hate. So like unless I unless I don't know he what I'm talking about, I do. I do. I play them all. I do. I That's definitely the thing. Play I think he all. like. I think he like like love hates it. I don't think it's a love hate at all. It's I just want to see it's something weird. I I think it's more like I just don't get it. I, I guess it's like because I mean like don't get me wrong. I think <laughs> I think the direction that they did with the Switch version of Zelda is a lot better than what they did in the sixty four and on the Switch or I mean and mm-hmm. on the GameCube. <laughs> but I but <laughs> but. Uh, I did, but I still felt that the like there was something missing in this one. Like I know the thing that really killed me in um, what's the name of the original uh, of that? I can't even remember the uh, the full title of the Switch one, the first one. Wait, wait, wait! Isn't it also too? Isn't this? Isn't the price tag seventy dollars? I keep yes. seeing somebody. Was that confirmed? Well, see, I don't even know because there's two things. Because uh, you know, you know, if this is if they messed up, you should probably go on top of this right now. But there's some stores that are selling it for sixty. And then, uh, mm. uh, but like on the official Nintendo website, they're selling it for seventy. The collector's mm. edition, yeah, the collector's edition um, of the uh, of the thing is selling for one thirty. If you can find uh, the collector's edition, I would I would pounce on it because that because it's going to sell. I mean, it's going to double double in price because of scalpers, but but still, but yeah. It's, <laughs> so look for it, you're saying this is open now. They're probably already all gone. Yeah, well, I mean, you just go to a GameStop. I mean, at least it's not going to be exclusive to the Nintendo's website. Uh, oh so, yeah that's true that's yeah true. so that, that that's cool but yeah so like i think the official msrp uh, msrp is is 70 but i think stores didn't get that memo because some stores i saw i saw online like so some stores were selling for 60 so if you find that yeah like i know best buy was selling it for 60 so okay yeah, okay yeah, yeah you know you heard it here first <laughs> until they yeah. change it I, that's the one that thing liar. that's it's hard for me to be like whoa you know, I know it's been a while since they increased prices uh-huh. and stuff, but like, why are you guys doing it? Because they know they can get like, away with it with Zelda. They don't think get away with it with Zelda. You know, people That's are gonna ridiculous. buy it. They're people gonna, gonna buy, buy it, it anyway. Yeah, yeah, people are gonna no, buy it anyways. Right. Because and, right. and and Nintendo games really don't depreciate in value, which is very interesting to me. Like, yeah, like the first Zelda is still going for about fifty to sixty bucks. Uh, it's That's wild. Uh, yeah, isn't that crazy? It's a five year old game and it still goes for fifty <laughs> or sixty bucks. It's insane. So like yeah, so it's not even it's rare, it's just that's what it is. They've always they've always kept their value, which is very interesting to me. Uh what was yeah. the name of the what was the name of the first Zelda, by the way? I can't remember. I'm trying to remember it. Uh, uh someone, if anyone in the chat knows too, because that's the one thing I'm trying to remember. Yeah, so you can't remember I it. Can't. I can't remember. <laughs> I can't, dude. Yeah. Well, it was my problem with that Zelda was the ambient noise. I just couldn't stand the wind blowing and stuff like that. And like, this you know, said, I hate nature. Like this I, dude well, says, I hate nature. Not in my games. No. <laughs> <laughs> you need some sort of music. You need some sort of music or something. <laughs> and how wide that world was. And then your worst, the worst enemy in that game was rain. Because when you, when you, you know, I mean, I was just like, oh, man, uh, it, it's like the game just was just just gave me Witcher 3 vibes, but emptier. Like, so oh. I yeah, so I was just like, OK, you know, it's I mean, but it was it was still it was still good to to, to traverse. Ooh, but He almost uh, had fun. He almost. Yeah, had fun. I would just say I was like, no, I was, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, but like fun is too strong of a word. <laughs> <laughs> It was too, like I, I thought myself on that. I'll admit, I'll admit. It. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. Wait, want to get Link's Awakening and it's seventy nine ninety nine? Are you serious? Oh, That's insane. God, that is ridiculous. Link's Awakening, the the mm. the physical a physical copy is seventy nine ninety nine. Oh, Canadian dollars. Okay, so that that so it's still seventy bucks. 
or 60 to 70, but well, I don't even know the Canadian ratio, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to even lie. I'm gonna, but it's so expensive. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Yeah. No, yeah. I imagine that's expensive. That's 80 they, bucks. Even? Yeah. They, like, they, nah. keep, they keep their value. I mean, that's just where the, the Nintendo's always been that. And Nintendo's always been consistent on that. So, and what's going to be worse is that since they're closing down the Nintendo eShop, uh, Game Boy, Game Boy SP, Game Boy Advance games are going to skyrocket. Like physical copies oh. of those games are going to skyrocket. Uh, if they not, if they haven't already, 3DS games, all that stuff is going to go up in price if, if you ever find them. So I, we are I'll not, let, we are not financial advisors, by the way. Yeah, I know. Disclaimer in. I know that, that is true. Well, I'm not saying to do it for like. Have a, me chomping uh, at the bit though. Like, mm, are, you yeah. just, are you telling me I need to go buy some Game Boy games or what? I mean, the sort like I will not be surprised because right now some of the big ones like Pokemon, like you like like Pokemon games, like in the past are literally hitting to like hundreds of dollars already like black like you know it's, it, it, it's insane like but i mean we don't i mean i don't care because i don't play handhelds although i have like a giant library of handhelds right behind me but still it's like <laughs> a uh but still it's like it's it's funny uh what when, when that uh when it happens when everything shuts down they'll be like why is a copy of this game like super mario brothers 3 on the gba cost 40 bucks it's like well you can't get it anywhere <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know? yeah so that's wild go. Yeah, so it is. But yeah, so overall, like really good Nintendo Direct. I can't wait to see what the, uh, what's going to come out this year. I can't wait to see what the next one's going to come probably during E3, I'm assuming, and uh see 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 where uh what what they have in store. So uh yeah. Smitty, Smitty what was your topic? Yeah, I just had a quick one uh here. I know there's been reports about uh Sony having a direct themselves uh here by either the next couple of weeks to a month. Um, so th- I think that one's going to be a smaller one is what they're reporting. And then they've talked about doing one in June, which is going to be their big one. And That's I was kind of talking about this too. Like uh, I remember Lucas had asked like, well, do you think it's going to, you know, they'll try to, you know, maybe take pull, you know, take the steam out of uh, E3s. Uh, sales a little bit and uh, I was like nah I was like if anything I think it'll be complimentary to it and you know there's going to be a lot of stuff that's going to be going around that time I'm sure Xbox or Microsoft will do something around that time as well and again that's the part to me that's really exciting that's where what E3 brings is this excitement and even being in that proximity around that time you know i don't feel like they're they're the type of companies that are going to just like look to try to oh you know try to pull away from them i think they they work to kind of work together and and see what best how can they just you know they're going to do our own thing and it's going to be bigger but it'll kind of be like you know part of that along with that you know that week leading up to uh, e3 or whatever and and bring that glitz and glam Mm -hmm. so i think it's gonna be i you know i'm excited to see what playstation has especially with this bigger event um because there's not really i guess exclusives i I imagine you know other than like final fantasy uh 16 and um i'm just trying to think about it uh probably uh spider-man 2 um, mm-hmm. I don't know what else they really have in store that they're going to announce. Is it going to be third party things or is it going to be mainly exclusive? So, you know, we're, we're starting to get into that time now where there's just a lot going on. We've still got a ton of great games that are dropping uh, here in, you know, throughout this month in through next month and then we're going to get more directs and and more stuff we just talked about nintendo's direct and how you know just that like that like they they knocked that one out of the park so they gave us a lot of stuff to be excited about here in the next uh you know like shoot the day of as a mm. matter of fact the day of they gave us stuff which i love that that they do that i want to see more things and more people utilizing uh those times to really you know get that that wow factor and and you know, it's a great opportunity for them to really speak with their audience one on one. Here's what we got going on. And oh, by the way, we got some stuff for you right now. You know, I love that. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pumped about that. I wanted to see what your thoughts, if you had any idea. Uh, I'm sure they're going to be pushing uh, PSVR 2 pretty heavy because I think sales wise, uh, I think sales wise is looking a little lean uh, in terms of of that. So. I'm guessing that they're going to be pushing that uh, uh, pretty hard. Well, um, like I said, like last week we were talking about, you know, E3 is not going to have the big three at the event. 
Uh, I said that even though that the big three isn't going to be there like physically at E3, that wasn't going, that didn't necessarily mean that they weren't going to do anything during E3 itself. So like, uh, because uh, for the longest of time, those those companies weren't really a part of E3. They've they've always opted out of going to have a physical physical presence. Except Nintendo did have a physical location there. Last time I went to the physical yeah. the physical spot. However, Microsoft didn't did not. They they had their own like festival outside of the uh uh, uh right next door to where E3 is always held. So I'm not surprised that they're that they're going to announce they're, they're, there's going to be a small like announcement of what's coming out because I mean the in the short in the short run uh Resident Evil's the remake of Resident Evil 4 is coming out uh for the PS on the PS5 and stuff like that then also the expansion of I believe another small brief expansion of Resident Evil uh the uh Resident Evil Village is uh, mm-hmm. going to be coming out so there's small things that's coming uh that's coming Spider-Man 2 definitely is going to be their big is their big game of this year um which is going to be which is going to definitely show oh also don't forget the expansion of Horizon Forbidden West is also even though we weren't a big fans of it itself that it's still a big game you know so, the, uh, yeah. so that's also going to be a big thing that's going to come out but uh yeah my my expectations is that they're going to just announce like oh this is where we're at with with, with, with playstation we're going to be going full steam of where we're uh of what we're at because now they also officially said that they're that they that the shortage of ps5s are is over yeah so you can easily, over yeah so it's easily accessible to get them now because because the demand of it has gone down quite substantially uh probably from what you were saying that you know kind of slimming down on the sales it's Itself. and i mean it looks like we're going into a recession so that so <laughs> that that kind yeah. of uh uh those kind of things are going to be uh, uh uh are those are big factors so uh i don't think it's going to pick up steam because even though e th- or uh, i don't think it's going to steal the steam of e3 because right. even though that it's going to be during e3 they already have an allotted time because like E3 technically officially starts on Tuesday. Usually right. what happened on the big three with the big three, they usually on Monday, they usually do their, their announcements and stuff like that. Like their, their uh, special call, the uh, assemblies and things like that the day before all of that. So that's not going right. to pull away from what, what it is. Uh, in fact, I'm actually glad that they like it in a way that, that this is going to expand uh, with other gaming, uh, other gaming companies that are maybe bigger or small. Uh, uh, that that's definitely smaller than like you know AAA titles and stuff that you may be able to meet and talk to directly. And that's why I love about E3, and especially since we got three days or two days as press to be like going to talk to these people directly yeah. without un, uh, uninterrupted uh, uninterruptedness and stuff, and then going to talk to even and then even the AAA groups and stuff that are, uh, that are doing their assemblies and things like that. I just hope that like the big thing I really hope for is that there's not going to be like big companies are going to pull out on top of that, like Capcom, Square Enix, Bandai Namco, uh, like all these big, big companies that we already uh, uh, affirmed that we know and love, you know. So. So, yeah, uh, I think that uh, uh, I guess the big game this year, the big uh, the big game this year for 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 Sony is going to be Spider-Man 2. They're going to get their money because uh, I'm looking forward to it. Zuzu's surely looking forward to it. Mm-hmm. He says mm-hmm. inside the chat, like everyone else can type inside the chat as well, that uh, all I need from Sony is Spider-Man 2. Everything else is irrelevant. <laughs> it's like, man, you are definitely, <laughs> you are definitely foaming at the mouth on that. Or the better yeah. yet, yeah, or the better, the better thing though, too, because keep in mind, they announced that they're making a Wolverine game too. So I know. Yeah. So that'd be like, mm-hmm. so we, we may see a lot of, a, a lot of uh, uh, small stuff and things like that uh coming uh coming soon for uh from sony and we already know sony first party support is strong unfortunately yeah. not as strong as nintendo but when they make it when they make these exclusive ips and stuff we will see we will definitely see like what, what what's coming in the woodworks and that's what an e3 is definitely the place to show uh to show oh this is what we're working on you know so yeah and, yeah so uh, yeah i mean so what are you what are you expecting out of it uh smitty um, you know, you know, I, I don't really have anything in mind to be honest that I'm thinking of. I'm just hoping to to be pleasantly surprised. I hope that they touch or do some stuff with um with their online services and and mm-hmm. maybe they do something with that. I really hope they 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 really need to do something about stars. I did sign up for stars, but it's kind of weird, like how you 
go about it and stuff like that. It's basically mm-hmm. like their their loyalty program. Oh yeah, where okay, you stars, can do yeah. like quests and stuff like that. If you play particular games or whatever, you can get coins and then you can get you know digital digital things with this with this uh, currency or whatever. And I did sign up for it. It's free for for PlayStation users. So if you do have a PlayStation. Uh, you should definitely check it out, but it's kind of it's a little convoluted in, in getting into it. I couldn't even tell you off the top of my head how to go about or where I went. I think I did it on my PlayStation, but I can't remember. I, I did mm-hmm. on my I did on my phone. It was or maybe it was my phone. my phone. It, maybe it was yeah. my phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right. I mean, That's right. The phone. It's funny. Maybe maybe it's just us because we're just we're just OG we're just OGs. You know, when it comes to this oh, kind of thing, ooh. because we're. We are. I mean, we are. I mean, dude, it's not. We're not like spring chickens anymore, man. Like it's. Uh, I think it's just a matter Ooh, of. <laughs> <shut up>. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, I'm just saying that. Like I think maybe for us it might be a little bit more of an inconvenience towards it. You know, uh, uh-huh. uh, 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 I'm just looking at it as an outside perspective because I totally agree with you because it was not friendly in my in my eyes either to do it. Yeah. But uh, once I did it, I was like, oh, OK, I'm in. Let me do this. And they're like, hey, play if you play this, you get points. And I'm like, yeah, I'd rather not. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that, that kind of situation, you know, I was like, mm-hmm. oh, play one of these fighting games. It's like, why am I needing to play these fighting games? What if this fighting game that I love playing? Like, uh, why can't, why is it on the list? Oh, regardless, if you play this for like, uh, for 20 minutes, you get five points. And I'm like, I, I, it's like, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm too, I'm too old for trophy hunting like that, man. Like, I don't, yeah. I don't really care. Like, I don't want to be forced to be like, to be playing. I wanted to be I with it. And not it. only that, but then yeah. just show me things that, that only apply to games that I play. Otherwise mm-hmm. I don't care. You know what yeah. I mean? Like. I don't. I don't want to even. I don't even want to see it. Why? You know what would have been I better. I don't have that game. Yeah, you know what would have been a lot better if they just said, if you won a trophy in this game, you get a certain period of points. Like, oh, you got a bronze right. trophy in so and so, three <laughs> points. That's it. Right. You only. You only need to put like. You only need to hype. Be the hype man of your own thing. You don't like you, the the uh, the trophy system itself gives you more of an incentive to get a trophy in the game that you're playing already instead of just saying, oh, you want to play an action game. Oh, you're playing. Um, you're playing Devil May Cry? No, you shouldn't be playing that. You should play Horizon Forbidden West. And I'm like, no, don't. It's like, don't tell me what I need to play. I don't need to play. Like, I know what I want to play. I'm gonna play this and uh, and stuff. You know, uh, uh, for yeah. and th- yeah, for and for what? Like digital a digital statue of a character of a game that you don't care about. You know, it's like right. okay, yeah. So yeah, PlayStation Stars, great idea, bad execution. So I, I I will not be surprised that it will that that they either going to tweak it or they're just going to cancel it cuz but uh but no you're totally you're totally right we kind of I think it's worth keeping them. around mm-hmm. but they definitely need to tweak it it ain't there yeah. yet it ain't yeah. there yet for sure yeah i totally agree i totally totally agree He's like Smitty since he's older than me. Oh, Smitty, I am older than you by like months. <laughs> Literally by months. <laughs> and it's like, but nobody yeah. knows. <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, yeah, I'm just, but no, but like, I think like, uh, you know, the, we are in the season of these cool announcements and stuff like that. Like a Dragon is another big one that I would say <coughs> is a big one for me because, uh, the new Like a Dragon two is coming out. You got Like a Dragon because they they totally retired Yakuza, so it's now yeah. they're all going to be called Like a Dragon now. Uh, so I'm looking forward to all of these new ones that are going to be coming out uh, uh, coming out soon, and like you know some of the cool stuff like from like Wild Hearts and ooh Star Wars. I cannot wait till Star Wars comes out. I know in, in there's March. so many games, so many. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty pumped about Redfall too. So mm-hmm. like that looked like a fun uh, co op uh, thing with vampires. So kind of excited about that that'd be fun to play with friends uh i i want i don't know if you guys saw did you see on twitter how uh there was a there was a tweet about uh call of duty 2023 in key dates like beta mm-hmm. weekends and stuff like that and i was like dude i was like wait a second didn't they say they were going to be on a two-year cycle yeah like, that's what I thought so too. i don't up they... lied son i thought i was tripping <laughs> for a second it was like, nah, dude, that that was a thing. That definitely was a thing. Are you them sure saying, it was on like, that was, Dude, I swear. It, it, you, well, try, well, try, look at, try looking it up because, like, you know, no, because I, I, could, I, I, I agree. I remember them saying that they're it's not doing one year mm-hmm. cycles anymore. That they were going to do, mm-hmm. they were going to do two year cycles. So I don't know what that means. If uh, are they still going to have the same amount of uh, developers running? 
Call of Duty. Maybe they, they finally got tired of it. They're like, you know what? This game isn't Madden. <laughs> this game, I mean, they, they've already cycled in. They've cycled so much that they're doing remakes of the original games. Like MW2 uh, was just like, are you serious? Are you dead serious that you're like, you're really going to re-release a, uh, a re-release a game that came out back in like 2010 and then call it a brand new game and actually take less out, take more out of it because of some of the things that changed, you know? So I don't well, know. Zucaro says, uh, no, Schreier had an article about how Sledgehammer is making COD content this year, but it's related to Modern Warfare 2, but it's oh, a full okay. release technically. Okay, what so are what they? Do, what? So basically yeah, what you're what saying is, is that, that doesn't... what that sorry, sounds like, oh, sorry, what that sounds <laughs> like to me is that the, um, that the, uh, you know, like how the, it's just a one year, it's a one year turnover for, for like, you know, DLC content and stuff like that. They're going to, ex- uh, is it sound like it's, is it extending the content that, that they're adding to the current game and the war zone and stuff uh, for, uh, for the year, uh, like as the filler year until the new one comes out. Like, so they're, uh, so it's going to be stretched out longer. The, uh, the, the DLC and the, the uh, uh, the DLC and the extra content is going to be stretched out longer than what it normally is, and until the game comes out, the new the new version of COD comes out of COD comes out. What well, <clears throat> I mean, I don't. Is that yeah. what that means? Because well, that's why that's what I gather. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I'm just not. I'm not a hundred percent sure because I was not familiar with uh it that sounds very weird in terms mm-hmm. of what they're doing and like i don't know how to feel about it because like that was one of the reasons why i actually got this one because i was like dude i'm sick of having to get a new one every year you know i was like mm-hmm. i think it's great that they're going to be you know letting this and they'll just build into the game that's currently out and give more time for these developers to come up with you know better yeah no, and, i don't totally agree <laughs> well like and, but, like how much better are we at right now, dude? Like they went to the past. I need it better. They went, they went to the. They went to the. They went to Vietnam. They went to the future. Uh, the present day. They went to the future, <laughs> and like I mean, like you can only do so much. I mean, it's don't get me wrong. I think it's a path for COD that from what it was back in the day. I mean, dude, it's been around for over twenty years, and they yeah. found ways to be, play. To make the same game over and over again. At this point, <laughs> I would be like, okay, you know what? Warzone is, is a success. Let's put our money into Warzone and just leave it at that. Because they remember when they experimented a Call, call of Duty, a $60 was, Call of Duty game without a storyline? Black Ops 4, Blop 4. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just, yeah, Medieval Con. <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Go back to the prehistoric days. Like, there's yeah. all kinds of ideas left. Dude. What I'm are you talking saying, about? I'm just saying that it's just like, okay, listen. It's like you don't want to make you don't want to make it like a, a what? How, remember how Medal of Honor was a good series, and then all of a sudden, they, well, despite the fact it was only made by EA, but Medal of Honor like Frontlines was a great game, and then they were like, okay, wow, Frontline, we got a lot of money. Let's do, let's just go ham on all these different kinds of Medal of Honors, like Pacific, uh, Pacific Shores, and all these other ones. Because I used to play a lot of Medal of Honor back in the day. But no, but yeah. this is just like, oh my god, rabbit <laughs> with medieval college. It's like, oh here, here's Sir Sir Soap, <laughs> who's here. Yeah, well, <laughs> or they Sir have Ghost. basically medieval cod. There's some games. There's some games that are. I feel like uh, there's one of them that I, that I, I can't remember if I actually got it or somebody was telling me about it, mm-hmm. and there was like a beta or something like that. But it was very much like a PvP me- medieval time uh, game. It was crazy. I was like, this looks awesome. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, <laughs> I try it, please. I yeah, remember what it was out. called. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was like, this that's looks dope. Funny. This looks dope. Yeah, post post apocalyptic. They've done that, didn't they? I mean, didn't Black Ops wasn't Black Ops Four like that? I don't even remember what Black Ops Four was. No Wait, campaign, no, no, no. dude. Black Ops. 3, which, <laughs> is the one with, which is the one with Kevin Spacey? Was that Black Ops Three? Three Blops Three Blops Blop. Yeah, that kind of. <laughs> 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 i mean i'm just saying it's just uh yeah advanced warfare, advanced warfare oh, was advanced terrible warfare. though yeah that, that game like, was, oh, i'm sorry i hated i hated the pvp 
I was fine with the the campaign was fine. The mm-hmm. PvP, I did not, I couldn't say it. And then when they did it, they brought it in for I think it was Blops three, and mm-hmm. I was like, I'm I'm done, I'm done. That's when that was the first time I quit. <laughs> that was the first time I quit Call of Duty. <laughs> I stopped. I stopped at Black Ops one. <laughs> like I was just like after because like I played Black Modern Ops War- two was dope though too. Black yeah. Ops two was dope. You know, but like uh, no, I mean Black Ops One was good too. But like I just like because yeah. was it one the one that really introduced zombies and stuff like uh or yeah was that yeah, yeah yeah yeah. So like uh, no, that was uh that wasn't War at War or World at War. I, I don't. Oh no, World of War did. You're right. That was Call of Duty. T- that was the uh, World War Two, right? Like yeah, did that. yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, but yeah, yeah. Well, I guess it was immediately after that because I remember that there was a, uh, it was a, it was like present day weapons and stuff uh, instead of instead of not uh, instead of uh, uh, Nazis, uh, Nazi zombies. I do remember that. So mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. but no, but anyways, but anyways, but on to PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> good segue uh yeah so we'll see what we'll see where that's gonna go we don't know what's gonna happen to uh like with, with activision on, uh, in the two years it's gonna happen i mean in the how how things are looking like for microsoft on this uh with this fda stuff Ooh, i it's uh it's a stretch but we'll see uh and as always when i talk about activision i have to put the classic f bobby Kotick. so there you go <laughs> <laughs> Facts. Yes. So, but uh, folks, thank you for listening to CFG Gamecast episode number 163. Thank you for being a part of the conversation. As always, we will be back again next week with some more awesome topics. Uh, but if you did miss out on this episode, that is perfectly okay. We re- we release this on all podcast services, Apple, Google Podcasts, Stitcher Radio, Podbean, so much more. Do us a favor. Check it out. To get, that goes a long way for us. But uh, and uh, we will release it on Monday mornings, like on our website, on confreaksandgeeks.com and on all services. So there's absolutely no reason to miss out on our sexy, sexy voices. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. And also be sure to go check out our website, confreaksandgeeks.com and check out our the other podcast, Pop Culture Gems. We just talked to an amazing cosplayer. Uh, her name is Steph Von Schweetz. She is a really cool cosplayer from Vegas, actually, Smitty. So, oh, no kidding. Yeah, yeah. She's uh, she she does some really cool. She had some crazy stories. I will have to tell, have to tell you uh, uh, tell you off stream, but it was actually pretty is pretty cool. So, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. And uh, once again, this is Davis and Smitty signing off. Y'all, take it easy. Bye.